This morning, the House committee holds the first hearing on President Obama's request to approve military force against ISIS. The draft resolution follows more than 2,300 airstrikes on ISIS targets in Iraq and Syria. The proposed legislation already has critics from both parties. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill, where the debate could last for months. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. And you know, for a long time, there were many members, including some leaders, who didn't think that the president needed this authorization. After all, as you pointed out, the U.S. has already been striking ISIS from the air. But over the past few months, it has become increasingly clear that the fight against ISIS is going to be a long one. It's going to be costly, and it requires Congress to sign off. Our coalition is on the offensive. ISIL is on the defensive, and ISIL is going to lose. President Obama consulted with leaders in both parties to craft a resolution that authorizes military operations against ISIS for three years and allows for the use of ground troops in limited circumstances. For example, if we had actionable intelligence about a gathering of ISIL leaders and our partners didn't have the capacity to get them, I would be prepared to order our special forces to take action because I will not allow these terrorists to have a safe haven. Still, some Democrats worried that leaving the door open to even limited ground operations could put thousands of troops in harm's way. A president could decide uh, to surge 100,000 troops into Syria uh, for a period, say, of 18 months and claim this is not enduring uh, because I've set a time limit on their deployment. Republicans, on the other hand, argued the president could be tying his own hands by ruling out enduring offensive ground combat operations. We don't tell our enemy what we're not prepared to do. Republican Congressman Paul Gosar represents the Arizona district that's home to the family of American aid worker Kayla Mueller, whose death was confirmed this week after she was held hostage by ISIS for a year and a half. He and many other Republicans say they want more details before they will authorize force. I have to see that he has got the resolve that when we are putting our men and women in harm's way, that we mean what we say and that we're not going to dilly-dally around. You don't go into war without a strategy. And the administration will have a chance to lay out that strategy in a series of hearings that will now be held on this resolution, and there will be a lot of debate over it. And that's really the point here, Charlie. It requires the administration and Congress to talk far more about how this fight against ISIS is going to play out in the months and years ahead. Nancy, thanks.